So I'm going to draw three different rooms in our house. This is not a true architectural drawing. This is a mechanical diagram. So don't blame me for the drawing. I like the watercolor brush. Thank you. I'm very artistic here. So we have down here the mechanical room. Oops. We have the kitchen. And we have the bathroom. So, um, we're not going to really talk about the HRV, but we'll draw it in quickly just to just to show where it is roughly. So the HRV down here is connected to a heat exchanger. I've actually never done a post about our HRV, how it works. So, so here you go. Here's the kitchen. Here's the the heat exchanger is connected to our ground loop. Under the house. Which is under the house, which pumps uh, glycol ground through the earth. And it starts cold. And it comes back warm. So warm going up into the heat exchanger in a loop and turning cold as the air moves over it. So which air are we talking about? There's a pipe coming in from the outside. It's a lot shorter than what I've drawn here, but uh, as I said, this is not an architectural section. And then there's two pipes going into the house. And in the HRV, these pipes cross through a heat exchange core. Is that kind of clear? So, so this guy carries on. This brings cold air in. Yep. It passes through the heat exchanger. It warms it up a little bit, so it's semi-warm. Mm -hmm. And then it crosses it with the air leaving the house, which is warm air, right? Warmer than outside. Mm -hmm. Right. So that heat and this heat heat up this air, so that by the time it's coming into the house, it's warm. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little electric resistance here that goes here to raise it to 20 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. That's our heating system and our fresh air system. And and put some temperatures on the other intakes. And okay, well after the mm -hmm. stale air is leaving the house, it goes out, it's cold. So let's say, for example, these are not exact calculations, but let's say it's minus 10 outside. Mm -hmm. The ground is probably going to be, let's say, between 4 and 7 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius. So minus 10 air comes across a heating coil at this temperature. We'll bring it up after it leaves the heat exchanger, probably to just above 0 degrees. Let's say, let's say 2 degrees, for the sake of argument, as it leaves the heat exchanger. Mm -hmm. The air leaving the house is at 20 degrees or 19 degrees and this unit is uh, roughly 90 percent efficient 92 percent efficient i believe so it's going to recover 90 percent of the 18 degree difference here which means it's going to add another 16 degrees to this so the air leaving the hrv will be 17 to 18 degrees celsius so the little resistance heater is only adding a couple of degrees. And then this air gets distributed through the house, and that's our heating system. So that's the heating and ventilation system kind of on its own.